So you just bought a new hard drive or SSD, but how do you go about getting the data from well, the old drive to the new one? And that's where cloning comes in. Well, while there are many programs that say they do that without any issues, well, in my experience as a technician in a retail store and also as somebody who has to do that stuff very often, it's not always that easy. While Freeware might claim that it's easy and it's done within a few minutes, well, the problem is with those programs there, I have experienced a lot of issues. They tend to either not copy the drive fully or it's not bootable at the end or whatever and that can lead to some problems. Or they outright might not just copy the drive because, for example, you want to copy a hard drive which is like two terabytes or something but is only used for about 500 gigs to a one terabyte hard drive or one terabyte SSD. Some programs just don't let you do that stuff. And this is why this video is brought to you by EaseUS and their disk cloning utility. You want to trust a company with your data that has well, I guess good reviews and actually a good track record when it comes to cloning and also other software for partitioning and other things. And obviously also where the software just works and doesn't die in the middle of uh, the cloning process or whatever. So now I'm gonna explain to you how that works and we'll see each other again on the PC. In this instance, we are cloning one hard drive that has a Windows install on it to another SSD. This can be done with any size drive. It is also possible to just clone specific partitions, although this does not make much sense for a Windows installation, as all of the partitions are needed for the drive to be bootable and Windows to actually work. The nice thing is that any data we have stored will be left in exactly the same place as before, so you can continue where you have left off with only a bit of waiting time. Going about cloning your drive is simple. First, you can download the cloning software in the link in the description or the first comment. When downloaded and installed, you can enter the serial key that you can obtain on the website, be sure to compare versions and make sure you get the right features you actually need. In the application, you select the drive you want to clone as a source and then the drive to clone to as a target. Then the cloning process can begin. But be sure to select the correct drives as the target drive will be formatted and any data on it will be lost. This process will take a while and be shorter actually or longer depending on how much data there is or how fast the drives are. Cloning from a hard drive for example to a hard drive for SSD will usually be a lot slower than from a SSD to another one. Once the process is finished, the program will show you a notice and you can shut down your PC. If you want to disconnect the old drive and only connect the new one, your PC should boot up as it would usually. If you also want to keep your old drive in the computer, you will have to change the boot order so that the PC actually knows what drive to boot off of. For that, go into the BIOS or UEFI, search for boot order and then change the new drive to the first position. When you then boot again, the new drive will be used. If you plan on formatting the drive anyway, so the old one, you can also try to press F8 or go into the boot menu of your motherboard or your PC to select the correct drive to boot off of and then when in Windows format the old drive so you have the new drive and the old one as an empty drive that you can still use. When you then boot again the new drive will be used once in Windows, the old drive might not show up right away in the file explorer. To fix this in the file explorer, right click on your drive and then select manage. In the window that opens, select disk management 
on the bottom there is a list of all connected drives. The drive we clone from should also be shown here in addition to the new one we booted off of. To get that to show in Windows, right click on the old drive, click change drive letter, then select the letter that isn't used yet and confirm. Then the drive should show up with all the data still on it. If you want to format the drive completely, you can do that in the command prompt of Windows. As in the disk management, you might not be able to delete every partition and clean the drive completely. To do this, open the command prompt or CMD in Windows, type disk part and then press enter, type list disk. This will give you a list of all drive storage devices currently connected. To format the drive completely, type select disk then type the number it says on the first position so 0 1 2 etc make sure to select the correct one press enter and then type in clean again and then again enter now this drive will act as a new drive basically and needs to be initialized to be detected in file explorer so you go again into the disk management right click on the drive select create new volume and then follow the next steps and then the drive should be empty and shown up in file explorer that's basically it for everything about cloning a hard drive the pretty much easy way again if you have any questions or anything else let me know in the comments down below otherwise i wish you a nice day and goodbye